Hello, my name is Jeremy. Yes, I apologize for my messed up hair, my fucking scraggly beard. Uh, but uh, I've been wanting to do this video again for a really long time. And since I'm rebranding again for the 20th millionth time. Uh, today we are going to do my complete movie collection. This is all my Blu-rays. But over here is DVDs. Um, I haven't gotten them from my, and on my bed, unfortunately, it had to be my 4K collection. So we're just going to do DVDs first, then Blu-rays, then 4K, and then we'll be done. Actually, no, I'll do my digital library for Voodoo after all of that. So first off, let's begin with uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the complete classic series collection. I have heard they re-released this not too long ago. But uh, I got this at Walmart for $24.99 back in 2022. That was a pretty good deal. But I hate the way that these discs are placed. And that seems to be the biggest complaint for every single series like this. So unfortunately, that's just how they package it. Also, I want to let you know I'm getting over a cold. So uh, tons and tons of water mixed with medicine and... Yeah. Mm. Yeah, that's pretty good. Um. Anyways, uh, Bad Samaritan. It's a pretty good film. Uh, I remember when I first heard about this, I didn't know what to expect. I just heard the title, and I said that's a stupid title. Then I read the plot. Well, not the plot, but I read the the premise, and I said oh, okay. Doesn't sound horrible, so I got it from Big Lots about. And not too long ago, like maybe about, I was this year because I just found it on physical media. And it was just, you know, I haven't watched the disc yet. I haven't watched it yet, but, uh, like on the DVD, but I, let's see. Mm, yeah. I'm reading the premise of the back of the box, and that's about right. David Tennant, yeah. David Tennant, yeah. All right. <laughs> Um, Rio Party Edition, I have, I was helping my family get rid of a bunch of movies, and this was one of the DVDs that they had, and I said, well, I've never seen Rio, but I'll take it, and I didn't realize I have another version of Rio in here somewhere, which we'll get to, but yeah, Rio uh, Party Edition, I have not watched this, I don't even know if this is the film itself, um, yeah, I don't know if it's the film itself, um, or if it's just a bunch of these, um, bonus features. That's all I know. Uh, well, that don't sound good, but Napoleon, I picked this up at a Dollar Tree back in 2021. Uh, MGM had just put this back out on DVD. I love this movie as a kid. I rewatched this as an adult, like, when I bought this on DVD, and it's not as good as I thought it was, so... Unfortunately, as you when you see shit as a kid, you were like, "Oh, I love this movie," and then as an adult, you're like, "Nah." <laughs> so that's one of them. Uh, Shark Tale. I never thought I'd ever own this movie. Uh, I'm not a big Will Smith fan, um, or you know, but it is a good. It is. It is fun. Uh, it's also from DreamWorks. Could you imagine if they make a live action version of this? That'd be a weird movie. But, uh, yeah, uh, it's okay. Uh, I like the plot. I'm sorry to go, uh, a lot, but yeah. And then they have bonus features, obviously. Club Oscar, I remember watching, and remember Nickelodeon was teasing a lot when the DVD was coming out for this film, so... Yeah, there's that. Um, Contest. This movie premiered on Cartoon Network back in 2013. I remember watching it. It was okay. And I watched it again a second time. I said, okay, it's a little cheesy. It's like a Hallmarky, kind of like a cheesy, predictable, anti bullying flick. So I enjoy it. It's good. I also like Catherine McAmara. She was in Shadowhunters and The Fosters for a couple episodes. If you guys haven't seen those shows, those are pretty good. I prefer the Fosters over Shadowhunters, but they're completely two different things. Um, this is something I picked up at a Dollar Tree, the Deadly Fiends Collection. It's four sexy thrillers, two DVDs. 
Case of the Bloody Iris, Your Vice is a Locked Room and Only I Have the Key. That's a mouthful of a title. Death Laid an Egg, The Dark is Death's Friend. Uh, I'll be honest, I don't even remember why. I think because I was at a point in my life where I was doing those Blu-ray hunting videos on this channel back before I deleted everything. And I went to Dollar Tree a lot to pick up movies. And this was, this was one of the ones I picked up. Um, back to my family clearing out DVDs. I did not know we had this, but Dinosaur. I fucking love Dinosaur. I don't know if this ever got a Blu-ray release. I know it definitely does not have a 4K release. But if it's not on Blu-ray or 4K, and you, well, I know it's not on 4K, but if it's not on Blu-ray, we need to get a Blu-ray. Watch, I'm going to Google it after this video, and then I'm going to be like, order. Um, A Better Place. This is a Kevin Smith-produced film directed by Vincent Pierre. I'm friends with him on Facebook. Um, I was talking to him about the film, and I was trying to get him on my podcast. He's not interested, but just there. Um, I really like this. There is a Blu-ray of this coming out from somebody. I don't know who, but they he just approved a transfer that's like 2.7K. I'm excited. That's all I can say. It's almost, that's because he's, you know. A Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, pretty self-explanatory. I'm a big Christmas, but I like Christmas specials and I love Christmas and I love holidays. Believe me, I used to hate, not hate Christmas, but I used to loathe it. Um, I mainly liked it because I got to see my family a lot. And then as I got older, I realized that that family, part of my family is not the greatest, but that's besides point, that's family drama I'm not going to get into right here. But... Looking back, I think Rudolph the Render's Reindeer is still one of my all-time favorite Christmas specials. I watch it every year. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, Lake Placid. Uh, I mean, <laughs> it's, uh, alligators or crocodiles? Crocodile, okay, cool. Um, very interesting movie. Very weird. Um, now the next few movies I got here that are wrapped in plastic are cellophane. Um, I was at, I was on my, I live in a neighborhood. We have a community Facebook page. Um, and this person put out that they were giving away a bunch of magazines and movies. And now the movies were all wrapped. So I don't know what happened there, but hey, I'll take it. Um, we got Black and Blue. I don't even remember he hearing about this film. And if you guys say, well, that was a popular movie. Well, in what country? Because I've never heard of it. And it's from, and it's American. Um, but I never heard of the movie. It says the key bounce 319. Oh. I didn't realize it was from Screen Gems. That might be why I haven't heard of it. Um, and they don't like to market their movies all that well. Unless it's like a big Sony release. Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Pretty damn good movie. Uh, Ghostbusters 1 and 2. Um, I like the first one. 2019 Charlie's Angels. Uh, thank God it's first. This is a Donna Summer film. Uh, but I haven't seen it or heard of it until I got that. And then we got three baseball films. We got The Natural, A League of Their Own, and Moneyball. I like A League of Their Own and Moneyball. I have not seen The Natural, Natural yet, but hopefully one day I'll watch it. This actually got big lots, so this doesn't count. But uh, as you can see, it says $250. i am not opening this, but this came... I really, I'm curiosity is killing me because I know this came out right before Netflix censored the, well, you know, if you see, if you know what the show is and you know, or if you've heard the news, they censored something that I'm not going to say here online, mm. but yeah, anyways, the craft legacy, um, I don't think I've ever watched this movie. And the interview. Love the interview. It's stupid, but it's fun. Um, 
You know what? Actually, because I'm starting from, because I'm putting my DVDs back on the shelf here on the bottom, I am going to start right now. I'm running out of room over there. I can't keep putting shit everywhere. Even though I would like to. <laughs> okay. I think a CD collection would be kind of cool one day, maybe. I don't know. Alright. A very Brady sequel. Awesome. A holiday heist. It's okay. Nick Picks 2. So, I, mean, I didn't realize I said... Oh, hang on. A very Brady sequel. I don't know. Live action. Well, not live action. Um, Reboot or those movies that they did for the Brady Bunch movies that were cheesy as hell. And then Holiday Heist is a Hallmarky kind of film. Um, Nick Picks 2. This is a bunch of episodes from Fairly Odd Parents, All Growing Up, SpongeBob, My Life as a Teenage Robot, Jimmy Neutron, Danny Phantom, and the Rugrats. So, a decent collection of episodes. My favorite on this is the uh, interview of a campfire from All Growing Up. Back in the day, I did an audio commentary for that episode. And I also did one for Sleepless in Retroville. And, uh, yeah. Married with Children's 5 and 6. I was going to a closing FYE. They had this. And I had to get it because it was like, I love the show Married with Children. I could not find the other seasons that day. Hopefully, but I have been able to find the complete collection, the complete series everywhere else for a reasonable price, but I've never bought it because why would I? Mm. Anyways, um, MacGruber. Um, I have yet to see this. <laughs> Don't know what it is. Picked it up at Dollar Tree. Um, Madeline. I got this recently this year. Um, I have rewatched it, and it's like a Napoleon situation, where I saw it as a kid, thought it was great, then I watched it again. No. Um, Feel the Heat, uh, 10 thriller films, which are Eight of Diamonds, Heartlines, Wedding Day, The Gasoline File, Look at Me, Broken Code, Desdemona Love Story, Champagne Gang, Border Town, and The Casino Job. I've only seen... Look at me and Border Town. That's it. Uh, the five films Zac Efron collection. I mainly picked this up because it had 17 again. And I don't have that movie physically anymore until this. But it does come with We Are Friends, which I've never seen. And it comes with New Year's Eve, which I refuse to watch. Because it's made by the same people that made that fucking Valentine's Day film. Or did it come out before that? And Hairspray. Um, Getaway. This is a pretty good movie. Scout Taylor Compton, Jacqueline uh, Bethlehem, and Lane Torrin. I like this. This came out... I don't know when it came out, but I picked up a Dollar Tree. Oh, you guys want to see something that could be... <coughs> considered terrible and bad at the same time. Terrible and not so good. The Jack in the Box, The Jack in the Box Awakening, and The Jack in the Box Rises. I have all three of these. So I picked up these two films for $3 each at Big Lots. Paid $6 for this. Where did I find this? I think Big Lots. But yeah. No. No, I got that at Walmart. I got Jack in the Box Rises at Walmart. I do believe. I think I put the receipt in here. No, I think I picked it up at Walmart for a brand new. Honestly, there's... Look, I mean, this looks kind of cool, right? Yeah, it don't look kind of neat. Yeah, the effects are a little... I mean, they're not great by acting-wise, but the director, uh, Lawrence Fowler, pretty cool guy. Pretty cool uh, that he was able to make three of those. Hopefully, he's making another one. I don't know. Uh, American Satan. I mean, it's American Satan. It's, uh, you know. Paradise City is a lot better than this. My opinion. Uh, Live, Laugh Out Loud 6 movie collection. We got The Animal, Joe Dirt, 
Mr. D's Master of Disguise, Eight Crazy Nights, and Anger Management. I don't know. Mm -mm. Uh, the complete first season of Community. Never watched that show, but it came in that box that I was talking about where the neighbor was given away for free. Uh, Hotel Transylvania. I love that movie, but I never opened it. Anthem of a Teenage Prophet. I picked this up recently at a Dollar Tree. I have not seen this movie, but I saw Peyton List. And I was like, hell yeah, let's go. And I didn't realize that Juliette Lewis was in it, but I didn't watch this movie yet, so... Yeah. Uh, the Dark Tower, which... Sucks, but... You know... <laughs> it's Idris Elba, and I'm a sucker for Matthew McConaughey. I just, I just like Matthew McConaughey as well. But, uh, yeah, movies are... As you guys can tell, movies are a big part of my life. I have a lot more DVDs that I had... Like, um, six months ago. We'll go over there. <laughs> and I'm using the, my computer chair to... Mm, almost knocked over a big stack of Blu-rays. And I have to pick them up. And I have to end this video. And then pick them all up. And that's something that I don't want to do right now. Alright. Got a small stack here. And a big stack of, blue, of DVDs. And then we'll be done with the DVD collection. And then I'm going to take a small break. Then I'm going to do Blu-ray. That'll do, then I'll take a small break. That'll do 4K. All right, here we go. Drink of Josh Go Hollywood, the movie. <coughs> which, um, also, I have My Booster is Vampire first season in here because, uh, the box got ruined. So I had to move them into a different box. Um,. A Lost Hit from 2008, The Boy Next Door. It's actually not. It's um, There's a band out there called Dawn. And uh, they put out their music video and almost a lot of their bonus features on this DVD. Um, I bought it for, I think it was $10. Uh, and they were like, and it also came with these like stickers and came with a mixtape and all that good shit. So, and they also personalized um, and the... Uh, the release with my name on it and actually when it was announced before they put i picked up the link i clicked on the link and i messaged them right after that and they, and i asked them hey i just or i'm ordering one is it really available like holy shit and they said yes it's still available so i picked it up uh donkey's christmas spectacular i just imagine it's a bunch of shrek um, holiday specials, but I also think it's, it's also 98 minutes, so who knows? Uh, Santa's Magical Stories, I'll be honest, I only picked this up because of Rudolph and Frosty's Christmas in July, despite the fact that I do like, um, no, I don't really care for The Grinch that much, but I do, I will watch it. But it comes with Year Without a Santa Claus, Rudolph's Shiny New Year. Uh, Jack Frost, Miser Brothers Christmas, and Rudolph and Frosty's Christmas in July. A really good compilation from Warner Brothers. Mm. Rudolph and Frosty's Christmas in July is still one of my favorite Christmas films, so... Yeah. Um, Scream Season 1. Picked this up at that same closing FYE. Who would have knew that just a few months after picking this up from that FYE, that MTV would announce Scream Season 3 would no longer be, um, <coughs> would no longer be, uh, the, would no longer continue the story that we've seen in, uh, yeah, I don't know. Um, we got Rugrats Decade in Diapers and Rugrats Mysteries, which, that's pretty, which, uh, you know, it's pretty good stuff. Casper Meets Wendy. Love this movie. So I think it's Hilary Duff's first role, or one of her earliest roles, but yeah. Bad Kids at Crestview Academy. Um, Hey Arnold, the Complete Series. Now... This came from Shout Factory. Shout Factory did, I think they, did, I don't know if they put it out, but they do have a complete series collection out there with both movies in it. Because this is just the first, this is just a series. This doesn't contain the movie or the second movie, but 
yeah, I do have this, and I'm excited, and I'm, I'm glad I have it, because I really like this show, and yeah, I do like this. I do like that show a lot. Are You Afraid of the Dark 2019? I very much enjoyed it. Uh, this has also got three classic episodes as well. It's pretty good stuff, but yeah, I do enjoy the 2019 version of Are You Afraid of the Dark? Uh, then we get to Curse of the Shadows, which is still pretty good. I don't have Ghost Island yet on di on physical disc, but I do have it on my Voodoo, which you guys will see in my collection for Voodoo. But yes, the H Are You Afraid of the Dark, Curse of the Shadows, which was really cool. This was over three hours long. This was actually 261 minutes. That's a long movie. That's long. Six episodes. Team Beach Movie. Uh, Mary Madagascar, which, you know, might not have that. Uh, Beethoven and Beethoven II. Black Christmas 2006. And I say 2006 because that's when it came out, and it was just... I actually enjoy this movie. I am not gonna lie. I actually enjoy that movie. Um, we got Anaconda, which you could tell by... The sticker and like this sticker up here. This came from Blockbuster, but I got it at a flea market. If you don't know what a flea market is, it's like a, it is like it's kind of like a garage sale in a way. Uh, Elvira, Mistress of the Dark. Uh, I just got this on DVD back, and actually, I think it was earlier this month or it was September. Between September and November, I picked it up. Um, Vulgar. Pretty good movie directed by Ryan John Brian Johnson. I almost said Ryan Johnson. Jo uh, Violet. I have yet to see this, but I do like Olivia Munn, and I am actually interested because I think that's Justin Justin Bateman wrote and directed this movie. So yeah, I'm imagining it's pretty good. I also like Justin Theroux. Uh, here's Rio. Yeah, I do. I had Rio. It's also the only blue DVD that I have. But yeah, um, Rio. Jane Silent Bob Strike Back. Oh, this isn't really a DVD, but Ice Slide Kills the like, Silver Screen. Um, I got this from Sarah uh, of Horror, but Sargod or Sargid, a wounded basically. Uh, Dogma. Dogma again. Uh, Bolt. Madagascar 3, Madagascar 2, and Madagascar. Uh, Drawing Flies, pretty good movie. Uh, the Exorcist, pretty good film. Uh, Fighting Nori. Whoop, they fell over. The Flushed Away. Charlie's Angels Full Throttle. And I'm going to rush through this because I have to get this done, I guess. Uh, Charlie's Angels. What else is in here? Oh, House of the Street. That's a story. Uh, yeah. Be Kind Rewind. Uh, the Crow, Crow 2, Crow 3, Crow 4. I don't know. There's just three of these films. That's not the original. You know what, though? I'm going to say something right now about The Crow. I don't think it's that good. Whatever. Charlotte's Web. Chicken Run. Clerks Animated Show, which I actually like. House of October Built 2. I do not have number one. How to Train Your Dragon 2, which I do like those movies. Uh, Terry Fatter. I don't know. Or Fator. I don't know. Halloween. Can't go wrong with Halloween. Uh, Sherlock Holmes Collection. Which is Peter Cushion. Love that guy. Um, Surf's Up, dude. Open Season 2. Open Season. I've never seen those. Wild Things. I've seen that. Wild Thornberry's movie. I've seen that, obviously. Uh, this is actually a film class from my film class we Put a bunch of those short films on DVD. Kids, which is a 
hard movie to watch, uh, just by luck. Josie and the Pussycats, the complete series. Love that show. It's only 16 episodes. The Jungle Book, the live action Jungle Book. The Outpost Season 1. Unbreakable. Uh, Black Dynamite. I have not seen that. Uh, Spike Lee uh, 3 Joint Film Collection. It's School Days. Get on the bus and she hate me. Which I've only seen one of these. Seen she hate me. And school days. So I've seen two. Pulse. Really good Japanese horror film. Yeah. And Poltergeist Collection, which is one, two, and three. And finally the Outpost Season 2. Which I actually think is the last season. Oh, no, pick these up at Big Lots. All right. In 26 minutes, that is my complete DVD collection. The Blu-ray collection will be a lot longer because there's a shit ton of them. You can see that. And then I'm not looking forward to doing the blue, the 4K because that's going to be probably just as long. Hope you all enjoyed that.